Limerick City, a place of huge cultural vibrance and many colorful characters, is currently home to an interesting music scene. From experienced adult bands to promising teenage bands. I've decided to get closer to the scene and see what it means to the musicians, the fans, and overall what it means to the people of the city. Just for a moment, just one. the most illustrious scene in Limerick at the minute appears to be the punk scene. Wild, unrefined, raw and extremely lucrative, it seems to draw more and more young musicians every year. Almost every band out at the minute draws from the scrappy and rough aesthetics and musical composition of the punk rock movement. However, in a sea of bands all competing, one band is the undisputable leader of the movement, that band being the well-loved 50 Foot Woman. So I decided to come to a 50 Foot Woman show to see how the crowd interact with people and how the band play live, as it's a huge part of their sound. They're considered the definitive live act in Limerick, so I've decided to see what it's all about. I guess, uh, um, when we started out, it wasn't necessarily that it was punk, rock, or whatever you want to call it. I, think, I suppose it's like, it's that, it's a, yeah, it's, a, it's that's a really hard question, I guess. It's, me and Hazel and Amy don't listen to punk. <laughs> um, I guess it's, because it's the most fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it's crack, like. It's, yeah, it, and it's definitely my favourite. It's the best kind of music. Because our, uh, this country has a great punk scene, like from all the way up to all the way down, there's, there's just great uh, punk bands and they're all like, you know, underrated outside of this country, I think so. Yeah, I think, I think there's great punk rock in Ireland. What do you have to say this? I really like it because I kind of tend to save up any like issues that I have with my life and then we have like a gig or band practice and then I just shout them all out and it's very handy. Yes. It's nice. Therapeutic. Yeah, playing punk drums is very de-stressing. Uh, it's yeah, very nice. it's stressful. It's way more fun than any other genre of drums. Actually. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. How did you discover punk, and when did you know it was what you wanted to make? Um, well, I mean, I was like, I was always but that kid who was like trying to be edgy and like oh yeah I listen to old music and then I realise old music is terrible <laughs> and and that's a cringe cringe phase but I've, I actually have loved punk ever since then and like I suppose kind of getting deeper into it after getting into Level Underground and the Stooges and, and getting into more hardcore stuff like Soap Humans later on and then like more recent stuff like um like just random hardcore like uh, Piss Jeans and like uh, that kind of thing it's just it's, and trying to fight in that fun sector. it's just like uh, Fun Sector as well yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just it's just that I just I, I found the love and the fun the kind of passion for hardcore and for punk basically so that's that's why I love punk anyway. I mean, like a lot of people, uh, you know, the Ramones were my first punk band, um, and it was my dad who was, you know, he's. He, he was a punk back in the day and he's you know he he, he listens to all sorts of music but um i guess i gravitated towards the, the kind of i don't know maybe aggression of punk but that, then also it's it's quite melodic our good punk rock is aggressive and melodic um and you know i, I guess i was maybe 10 finding the ramones and the sex pistols from my dad but then when i was a little bit older i was finding bands like cross and um black flag on my own um like who? Yeah, all oh, classic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love them. But um, seriously, um, I, then I suppose like the what what I thought was punk was like that local scene and the togetherness. So I I rooted out for for Irish bands like The Turn, like Audible Joe was my favorite. Not Audible Joe's and Nils, of course, like one of my favorite bands ever. Um, and then as we were coming up, finding other bands, uh, starting out at the same time as us, the Car PC and. 
Um, Fat Fury. Oh, Fat Fury, yeah. Um, Vacuity. V- yeah, Vacuity, who performed at the same time as us. Um, and go further. Tr- 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 you know, I- I'll just name drop all the yeah. uh, great Irish punk bands because we're such a great scene in this country, yeah. I'm about to give to you with the story, the song, the saga of Barry Gorey. <laughs> Do you feel like playing live gives you a connection with your audience? Yeah, in a way, like it's kind of. I don't really think you can really like. I, I, music is best best taken live. I think for singing like uh, for a live band too. And not in my grandma Shabbos East Centre. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it's a shame that there's no venues in Limerick that are like truly all ages that you can really experience. No, like yeah. show. Uh, and it's it's like it's pretty ridiculous because there is such a scene of people who just love music in this county, mm. in this city especially in the, was like, pharmacy and record room are brilliant venues. Mm. But uh, I mean, unless you're in college, you're kind of you just know there's no place for you really. Like, so uh, but I I do think that we have a, a good live set. Uh, I I I often don't know when to be quiet on stage, but I mean, uh, yeah. I think we give it good good energy, and it's like, I suppose. When you kind of get off stage, you know that the audience has been happy, and you know that you like you all came together to just make this like really like blisteringly uh, yeah. phenomenal half hour of music. Like then, I mean, yeah, I, I, that's, that's, I, it's pretty good to be honest. I think uh, fifty four women are a live band more than anything, and as as great it is it it is to um, to have a record and go, oh wow, it's great, you know, and put all these things onto it. I think the joy of us and to truly capture punk is um is life i think um yeah yeah i I think like my favorite part about being in a band is when we're like it's happened maybe like three times but when we're like on stage and someone's singing the song back to me it's like it's incredible it's like i can't describe it it's just so like i don't know yeah it's really cool yeah it's that like connection and i i think um i what what makes a really really great show is not usually um, the band. Uh, it's typically the audience. I think you know I, we've played to we've played to rooms that are packed and just no one does anything. Well, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is where I explained I was in for it. Just boom and you're. Come on, guys, man. What's it? So that was uh, 50 foot, they just got finished playing. Really, really just amazing performers, to be honest. Just a personal recollection, I saw these guys, I saw these guys like just practice in music gen. They just asked me to come in and I just kind of stood there like, like mesmerized for like 10 minutes, man. It was, they're really, really great performers. I think they're gonna be really successful. Veering into odd territory between punk, metal and many other sounds, the band that has captivated the young music fans of the city even more in the past couple of years has been Vicuity. Throughout the last year, Vicuity became a powerhouse in the Limerick music scene. At the forefront of the band was Seth Collins and Ben Young, sharing duties on bass, guitar and vocals. They captured fans unlike any other band I have seen. What was it that inspired you to get involved in the Limerick music scene and uh, how did you get involved in it? Hello. Um... I'm Seth, and I know we look alike, so I thought I'd clarify that. Um, as far as what inspired us to get in, I think this is probably a very common answer, but Music Generation were a great help with inspiring us. I had been uh, getting bass lessons with the lads for years before I started going to these summer sessions, where I then became friends with the guys from 50 Foot Women, and then met the lads from my own band there. And it kind of got started from there. So we kind of, we all owe it to Music Generation as well. Who would you cite as some uh, musical influences? In general or for the band? Um, just both, really. Mm-hmm. I think I'll, we took a lot of influence from this one band from Limerick called Casavets, who are sadly no longer with us, but they have an album out that's really, really good. 
but f I'd say big influences would be themselves and then American bands like Tidal Fight and Narrowhead were very influential for our sound as well as a very small bit of Deftones but personally I do my own acoustic music and I like I like Rob Scallon a lot in his own like emo side projects for my own influences <laughs> Uh, what is it that you think got Fecuity to the level of success that they did? Hmm. I think... At the time when we kind of first came onto the scene of like October 2021, it was really ourselves and Future Woman were like the only real Limerick teenage bands going on. And we were a bit different from each other. Where uh, Future Woman were very more punk and then we were a bit more emo-y, I suppose you could say. But something that really helped us get to where we were was just when the COVID restrictions lifted, we just played gig after gig after gig. There was, we played maybe like three gigs in two weeks in March. And then over the summer, we did at least one a week. It was really tiring, but I think that definitely did help put us to where we were for that short amount of time. <laughs> Uh, what does Vacuity's connection to their fans uh, mean to you? Uh, the connection that we had to our fans, fans are a very funny word, because a lot of the people who came to our show were like just our friends, and I think that's what really did help that connection. When we'd be on stage and between songs, we'd the kids just hear our own friends chatting and laughing. I think something that was very um, impactful was. We did a headline show for Culture Night in September where we played to a crowd of like maybe just over 300 people and we played our debut single Freeze and that's a song that's always been very emotional for me and it's always been hard to get through playing live but I remember when I opened my mouth to sing the first line I could feel my own voice getting a bit shaky from it but the like there was a sea of people singing those words back to me. And a lot of these people were close friends of mine who I thought, you know, it's, that's really sweet that people who very close to me would know the words to something that was very impactful for me. But a lot of people who are singing those words off my heart were people I'd never met before and people who, who I didn't know. And it was just, it really, it's captivating playing gigs in all over town or sometimes not even in your own county where you're going to be able to hear people singing your own words back to you it's really captivating i was at that actually and it was really it was genuinely a great gig there was you could definitely tell there was a great connection between you and your fans like um, 